Hey everybody, it is Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today's reading is a subscriber request reading, so thank you for that. And it is called Should You Make a Move? And we have three piles to choose from today. We have pile number one, which is represented by the winky face emoji with the tongue out. Pile number two is represented by the money shot emoji with the tongue out. And pile number three is represented by the heart eyes emoji. So take a look at each emoji and what do you feel drawn to? You may also choose your pile by the colors I have here. Pile number one with the green card on top, pile number two with the orange, and then pile number three with the pink. So we are going to go ahead and get into your reading and you'll find a link in the description box below for each pile. And feel free to watch more than one pile if you're thinking about making more than one move or there may be messages for you in multiple piles. And let's go ahead and begin and start with pile number one. Okay, let's do it. There we go. <laughs> Keeps falling over. Wouldn't you know? All right, let's get started. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. You chose the winky face with the tongue out emoji. And today's reading is a subscriber request reading called Should You Make a Move? And if you have a request that you would like to make, you can go ahead and include it in the description box below and I will decide if I can do your request, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the reading here for pile number one. Should pile number one make a move? Should pile number one make a move, please? Should pile number one Should pile number one make a move, please? Okay, there we go. Pile number one. Okay, we've got the emperor on the bottom of the deck. Strong, confident, assertive. I like it. Let's go ahead and get your messages. Ooh, you guys have... Your song for your reading is Justify My Love by Madonna. And it says, I want to kiss you in Paris. I want to hold your hand in Rome. I want to run naked in the rainstorm. Make love in a train cross country. You put this on me, so now what? Okay, those are the lyrics to Madonna's song Justify My Love. So interesting. Let's see pile number two. I'm afraid of what others may say or think. I know I shouldn't care, but I do. I've never felt anything like this before, okay? And we have, ooh, we've got the devil card. We've got temptation. Ooh, boy, wanting, waiting for you to justify my love. We have the Hierophant, which is represented by wisdom, okay? So quite a juxtaposition there between the Hierophant and the devil. Tempted, but you feel like you know better or tempted to do something, but afraid of what others may f think about it. But it's like, I've never felt this way before. So at the same time, I want to. We have receive here from the unicorn deck. It says, be open to receiving guidance. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon, okay? Actually, it doesn't say guidance, it says goodness. It's so small, but the letters are so small, but it says, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon, okay? And we have that there. We also have communication. Okay, it says, what are you having difficulty Communicating, do you feel emotionally disconnected? What is not working smoothly in your life? Okay, and receiving communication. All right, and let's see. 
the whole so funny about justify my love it's like wanting waiting needing for you to justify my love okay so wanting to receive a communication from this person they're tempted they're tempted i feel like pile number one to reach out to you but they're they're tempted but they're also like trying to control themselves or trying to trying to make a smart decision based on things that they have learned in the past and lessons that they've learned in the past and um yeah interesting we have here seek and the hermit card okay quiet calm meditation seeking out answers seeking out the truth needing some alone time perhaps okay when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those you love. Wow, that is deep, pile number one. And perhaps you've been in a very deep contemplative space where you are realizing, hey, life is short. I, I do want to make better decisions than I've made in the past. I don't want to fall prey to temptation into my lower nature. I do want to take what I've learned, at least from a wisdom perspective, and um, make better decisions based on what my intuition is telling me from deep within. But you've also been waiting for this person, perhaps waiting to receive a communication from them for a while too. And the thing is, it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you've shared with those you love. So it's like, you don't want to regret not saying something or you don't want to regret not taking action is what I feel. Because I think you feel that life is too short, pile number one. But at the same time, there is this deep contemplative inner quality right now an inner healing inner self-discovery inner sanctuary within okay and you know there is something about this connection that feels very triggering in a lot of ways though that may trigger insecurities or point out or trigger insecurities within okay and I'm also seeing a little dog here too. So some of you may, you know, have a little little dog or you may love dogs. I'm also seeing um, your parents or a couple pile number one that you know, or your parents and thinking about their relationship and what you learned from their relationship based on what you saw them go through, okay? And, um, you know, materialism, greed, and all of that, right? Like with the double energy, you can't take any of that shit with you. When you pass from this world, you only take your soul and the memories you've shared with the people that you love. And perhaps some of you had um, relatives or people in your life that were very materialistic or and cared a lot about what other people thought all the time. Okay, and really were afraid of, and that may have created a dynamic within you, pile number one, where you have at times been afraid of what other people may think or say if you do something, okay? And because you're afraid maybe of how they'll judge you or how they'll look at you, right? And justify my love is interesting because it's like justify my love, like tell me, tell me why you love me or tell me why you care. Wanting, waiting, and needing for you to justify my love. Like tell me why I should continue to kind of wait for something here, okay? And, um, you know, the person that you're asking about may have trouble with communication, pile number one, or they may have issues with communication and communicating 
their feelings and they may have a hard time talking about where they feel emotionally disconnected and it may be hard for them to understand their own feelings, okay? But I think a lot of this caring about what other people are gonna say or think, I know I shouldn't care, but I do, right? And I think that's the hermit, like the inner awareness of knowing, like I know I shouldn't care and I know I know better than that, but I do care. And so I feel like you guys have been really thinking about this a lot. Okay, and let's see what else we have here. We have the Strength card, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, okay, and we have the King of Swords. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, well, there is something here, again, and talking about um, the patterns of communication in families that are present, okay? And I mean, the thing is, is I feel you guys are wanting to grow beyond these patterns of, you know, people withholding information or not communicating or being very emotionally distant. And I think you're really wanting to grow beyond these patterns um, but at the same time, pile number one, I think, I think that you should wait to receive a communication from this person. I don't think you should be the one to make the move. Okay. I just, I just don't. All right. My friends, I don't think you should, again, I don't think you should be afraid of what people will say or think about you or think about your actions and things like that. Like, you know, getting over those insecurities, moving beyond those insecurities um, is, is a big thing for you. But I feel like the strength card is overcoming insecurities. And, you know, the queen of pentacles is, is a very healthy, healthy representation of where you are today, pile number one, and the type of mindset um, that you want to embody in today's world. Yes, you want to kiss this person in Paris. Yes, you want them to hold your hand in Rome. Yes, you want to run naked when the rainstorm and make love on a train cross country. Yes, you want to do all that stuff, but, and you definitely want to live your life with no regrets and all of that, but you're not being, here's one thing I want to say to you, pal number one, you're not being like weak by not saying anything to this person or not making a move. I'm actually thinking they should be the one to, to make a move. They should be the one to say something to you. Now, I'm also getting a side situation about a parent, two parents and a brother, or a brother who would always get in between two parents, or somebody who, two parents who were very bad at communicating with each other, but then the kid, it could have been you or your brother, pile number one, whoever, but the kid getting in the middle and trying to be the middleman and do the talking for the mom and the dad and be like the middleman counselor between the parents. So I am getting something about that and I am getting something about the generational um, cold war, if you will, between mom and dad and about how you know, perhaps you were the person that was the middleman or you were the person that was in charge of, you know, trying to smooth things over. And here's the thing, pile number one. And, you know, you're very, with the emperor here, I feel like you're a very strong person. You are, you also are a very direct person and a strong person. And I think maybe from an early age, some of you were taught to be that person that kind of breaks the news or jumps in or says something, okay? But I don't think it's your responsibility anymore, pile number one, and I don't think you need to do that. I, I think this person, and now pile number one, here's something else that I'm also getting is that this person may have also grown up in a situation where the communication was very weird in their own families where people acted like they were really sure of things or they really knew what was going on but they really didn't okay 
And this may have made this person have a very difficult chance or difficult relationship with communication, okay? And sometimes we need to pause like the outer world and look within and find our stance and find our, you know, because strength is also about our willpower, our inner strength, our inner willpower, okay? And, and to control our baser emotions. It really is controlling that energy of the devil, okay? So, I think that you don't have the same insecurities that you used to have in the past, pile number one, and that you're more secure in yourself as you've matured into who you are now. And I think it is up to this person to make the first move or to say something to you. And yeah, I mean, I get, like you said, you don't wanna have regrets. You don't wanna leave anything on the table. You want to learn from your past mistakes, okay? And it's hard because I feel like you're saying, I've never felt anything like this before. And um, I just, I have never felt this deeply with this seeking and this, I've never felt like this before, okay? But I feel like with the receive on you, I feel like you're the one that needs to receive the communication or this person is the one that needs to reach out to you, okay? And I think you should just hold steady and hold true within yourself until this person comes forward with an explanation or comes forward with like flirting or talking or sharing. Um, you know, the desire is there. I feel like they wanna say something or they wanna reach out to you, pile number one, but I also feel like there may be reasons why they can't do that right now, but yet they're very tempted to do that at the same time. They, they're they trying to um, find the right time is what I'm feeling. And they're trying to be wise about the moves that they make and, and not rush like they did in the past, okay? To make sure that their mind is clear before they go and do something, okay? But I think you're like pulling away or your silence or your focus on your own, your willingness to let the seeds germinate and your willingness to stand back and, and be quiet within yourself and listen to the voice within will, will bring this person forward to make a move, but I don't think you need to do it. Do you know what I'm saying, pile number one? I would hold steady and not make the move and let this person figure out what they're going to do here. Okay. So that is what I am getting pile number one. Let me know how you felt about that reading. And if that rings true for you, would love to hear your thoughts, your comments and your feedback. Take care pile number one. Let's move on to pile number two. Okay. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. You've chosen the money shot face and today's reading is called Should You Make a Move? And this is a subscriber request reading for you, pile number two. If you have any requests of your own, you can drop them in the description box below and I'll see if I can do those. So Let's go ahead and get into pile number two and see, should pile number two make a move on this particular person? Okay. Should pile number two make a move? I just keep, keep hearing the word drop it, but maybe it's because you physically dropped something recently. Also, for those of you that dropped something on your toe or on your foot, I'm so sorry. Pile number two, I know how 
like tough that can be when you accidentally anything it doesn't matter how big of a thing it is if you drop it on your foot or on your toe it's like oh my god <laughs> so for those of you who did that my condolences file number two but let's go ahead and see you know you bumped your elbow you dropped something on your foot maybe there's been a little bit of clumsiness lately but let's go ahead and take a look pile number two we have the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and let's look at your oracle cards oh no i had a feeling it was gonna come up pile number two this says i'm bring okay so your song lyrics are sexy back by justin timberlake okay it says i'm bringing sexy back you motherfuckers watch how i attack if that's your girl, better watch your back because you're burning up for me and that's a fact, okay? So those are your lyrics. Are you bringing sexy back? Pile number two, I want to spend forever with you. You are incredibly sexy. Okay, well, that's two references to the word sexy because we've got sexy back by Justin Timberlake and then we have you are incredibly sexy. I can't stop imagining all the things I want to do to you. Cool, pile number two. We have the seven of wands, stand your ground. And we have the crown chakra, nice, okay. This person feels very stimulated by you. They feel like very invigorated and stimulated when they're around you, pile number two. We have here magic, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. Ooh, pile number two, crown chakra. Okay, we have here landscapes and places. Are you comfortable in your environment? Do you wish to explore new experiences and perspectives? Do you wish to escape from your present constraints? Okay, yes, maybe some of you are thinking of moving or going after a different job, or going after some additional certifications, or you're just sick of living in the same way that you've been living and you like, you know what, I need to take some action to really step up my game if I want certain things in my life and I need to really like take some actions and take some risks and and believe in the magic again and work on my manifestations and perhaps you guys are working on that and you're getting downloads i feel like with the crown chakra and i feel like you're getting downloads about this person's feelings for you um and how they feel about you okay and we have here ooh, we've got the nine of cups dreams coming true i love that you've been going through some hard times i feel like pile number two whether it's economically, loneliness, not liking the city you're living in, um, you know, wanting to be somewhere else, feeling like something is a dead end and isn't working out for you, wanting to like leave or try different places. I'm seeing the Rockies, I'm seeing New York City, I'm seeing the Eiffel Tower, okay? Um, and I'm also seeing some places in Asia. So pile number two, perhaps you are somehow intertwined with some of those places, um, but you're sick of like where you at, where you've been at kind of feels like hell. But at the same time, I think even when you guys are like in a really tough area, like you still have a way of making things really magical and making things really fun and making something yours, even if it's not like your favorite place to be or your favorite thing to do. And I feel like this person is also saying that you're kind of the one bright spot in like a very dead end kind of a place, okay? And for those of you who know this person through your work or you know them through, um, you know, some type of association where you see them here and there or often through some other thing you do. It could be a group, it could be a friend group, it could be work, but however you see this person, they look at you as a bright spot and seeing you makes them feel very inspired. It makes them feel very enthusiastic about life once again, where maybe they weren't feeling as enthusiastic about life in the past, pile number two, but now they are 
Ooh, we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, now look at that. Look at the beautiful blue eyes there on this card. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Look deep within your heart. And um, <laughs> it reminds me of that song, Return to Innocence. Like look deep within your heart, my friend, and you will see it is the return to innocence, which is so nine of cups. Um, very much open your mind crown chakra okay believe in the magic like not liking this person maybe not liking where they're at or their job or just the same old shit every day and you're kind of the one thing that gets them motivated for life again seven of wands okay and we have here the strength card. Oh, that's interesting. Strength came up in pile number one as well. We have the king of swords, which also came up in pile number one. So that's kind of funny. We have the queen of swords. Okay. All right. And we have the six of wands. Okay. Pile number two. Yes, I think I can safely say in this situation that you should make a move and you should reach out and i feel this person will be receptive to that and the crown chakra is is very much like an aligning the vibes type of energy and being receptive to the communication and receptive to what is going on okay and it's funny with the crown chakra somebody here may like head massages or head rubs, or when somebody runs their hands through their hair or on their like scalp massages, that type of thing. Um, some people really do like that or that feels really good to them. Perhaps this person is into that. But yeah, I do with the King and Queen of Swords. Yeah, I do think, um, you know, here's the thing though with the Strength card is be confident in yourself, okay? You're bringing sexy back. You motherfuckers watch while I attack, okay? Um, but this is a very calm strength card. So, you know, it takes a lot of confidence, first of all. It takes a lot of confidence to, like, approach someone and make a move and say something. And I think if you do, you're going to come come back looking, like, very confident, very knowledgeable, very sure of yourself, very confident in who you are. And I think it's going to be successful with the six of wands. I think it's going to be taken in the right way. It's going to be, you know, I think this person is going to like it. I also feel like they might be like surprised or wondering why you're talking to them or a little bit surprised by it. Um, but I also think that they are, they're like, okay, you know, at the same time, I do feel like, yeah, I feel like you could go ahead and make a move in this situation. And I do feel like this person has been um, stressed out about work or stressed out about confusing, trying to learn new things, trying to figure out what's going on and um, it's just a lot. This person could get headaches sometimes. I really do feel like they would love to have their temples rubbed or massaged. Um, perhaps you need that as well, pile number two. But I do think you could start a conversation with this person. Okay? And I do think you... I Maybe, maybe with the king and queen of swords, there's a little... Um, standoffish or playful standoffish vibe but I feel like it's okay I feel like you're confident either way pile number two whether this person rejects you or is like hell yeah or whatever I feel like you're confident regardless and I feel like you're bringing sexy back regardless and <laughs> I feel like you're coming out a winner in what you do anyway regardless so I wouldn't, um, you know, I'm okay. like on the, in this six of wands, she's standing on top of the horse. She's not even riding it. She's standing on top of it and it's a real conquering type of an energy. So 
You know, if you have any fears around saying things or approaching someone or something like that, if you have in the past, I feel like you're getting over those fears. And I do think this person likes you. I think they, they think that you guys have a similar sense of humor with the King and Queen of Swords, or you have similar ways of thinking and similar ways of looking at situations. So in your situation, pile number two, yeah, go ahead and make a move. All right, you're, you're set up for it. You're doing fine. You go ahead and make a move. I'm good with it, pile number two, okay? Tell me how it goes, my loves. Be brave, be bold, and make that move. Let's go ahead and move on to pile number three, okay? Let's do it. Let's do it. Pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the heart eyes and today's reading is called Should You Make a Move? And it is a subscriber request reading. So thank you for the person that suggested that. And for those of you that are wanting to make requests, you can drop one in the description box below. Appreciate your comments, your likes, your subscriptions. Thank you so much. Make sure to check out my playlists as well. I have almost 600 videos on my channel and really epic playlists. So let's go ahead and get into it for pile number three and see, should pile number three make a move? Let's see, should pile number three Okay. Haha, <laughs> it's so funny. The knight or the king of swords just popped up. I was getting an energy like pile number three. Are you working on starting up a side hustle or some type of um, like shipping business? I'm getting somebody who has a shipping business. Okay. It's so weird. Maybe this person does or you do or you're involved somehow in the supply chain. I don't know, pile number three, maybe you do that for work or you do analytics for a supply chain or um, you do some type of work or you've had a really good business idea or really good side hustle idea and Spirit just wants to bring that to the forefront with the King of Swords popping up here. And um, so perhaps you're trying to make a decision about whether to invest in something and I feel like Spirit's saying, trust your instincts. And I kind of feel like it's a yes, pile number three. But let's go ahead and, I mean, I feel you guys really do research things before you go into things anyway. But maybe you have a very scientific approach to things. But pile number three, let's go ahead and see. <laughs> Spirit's just on a whole other tangent for you guys. Let's go ahead and see. Should you make a move on a particular person here that they came here for? Spirit, should pile number three make a move? Should pile number three make a move on this person? Should they make their move? Six of swords, smarty smarties in pile number three. Let's see, should pile number three make that move? Almost there. Can't rush the divination gods, if you know what I mean, pile number three. Let's go ahead and see. Nine of swords. Interesting. Lots of swords energy here, okay? And, um, you know, maybe some of you are having problems with insomnia or, like, during the day, you're very busy. You need to make a lot of decisions. You need to be the one to make the call. Um, you, you're talking a lot during the day. You have a lot of you know, mental activity that you're engaging in during the day, but at night, maybe perhaps you're you're struggling to turn your mind off or your mind is very busy and you're, you're struggling to kind of sleep or you're feeling kind of like your mind is busy during the day, but at night you're restless or you're feeling a little restless at night. But anyway, pile number three, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Ooh, pile number three. Your song lyrics lyrics are by the beautiful 
long-haired artist named Michael Bolton from the 1980s and the 1990s. And this song is called Soul Provider, okay? Soul Provider. And maybe some of you are actually soul providers, meaning that you have a family you need to provide for, um, you have to take care of your kids, you've gotta take care of yourself, there's no one else really to support you. Um, maybe some of you don't have a whole lot of family, so it's like you're the one that is you know, in charge of taking care of your mental and physical health and financial health and all of that weight is on your shoulders. Um, you know, but anyway, pile number three, soul provider. It says, here's your song. It says, I know you've been hurt. I know your love is shy. You don't have to say it. It's gonna take some time. You've got my heart in the palm of your hand. I want to be your sole provider, okay? So somebody's been hurt, their love is shy. You don't even really have to say it. Everybody knows what everyone else is thinking, King of Swords. You've got my heart in the palm of your hand. I want to be your sole provider, okay? We have here, we've got I am afraid of being hurt again. Okay, so that's two references to being afraid of being hurt again, okay? And being forced to make a decision about something before someone's ready to make a decision about something, okay? I am feeling that with the Nine of Swords and the King of Swords. It says, I can't stop looking at your pictures and rereading the messages you have sent me. Oh boy, pile number three. So this implies that you've mentioned or you've messaged this person before and that you've talked to this person before and um, they're still looking at your photos and your pictures and your texts and the interchange um, between that, but they're afraid, you know, they're scared of being hurt again, okay? We have here, and you know, maybe they know it really isn't rational with the King of Swords, like that you're a very wonderful person and that you have it together, pile number three, okay? But yet, even though they know that about you, they know it's not rational, they still are struggling with afraid of getting hurt, okay? We have Seven of Swords, Deception and Envy, okay? And then we have Accelerated Motion, Eight of Wands, okay? So this is a problem of, you know, like this person being worried about falling in love again or getting involved with someone again on a deep level and always trying to read between the lines to try to suss out if the other person is like um, telling the truth or not, okay? And I feel like this person's a lot more worried about that, but you're not. And pile number three, it's like you are ready to move forward, eight of wands, accelerated motion, and you're, you know, and they know, like you both are quite, you know, smart and you understand each other and you understand the limitations and the problems and the lack of trust and this person having at times a lack of trust or a lack of belief in things because they've been hurt before. So they get on shaky ground, seven of swords. They do get on shaky ground, but at the same time, I feel like you're saying, well, I haven't given this person any reason not to not to want to move forward with me because I've been very clear with where I'm at. I've been very honest, King of Swords, been very clear, very honest about where I'm at with things and um, clear, honest, integrity, straightforward. And yet this person is still having questions, okay? We have here abundance, enjoy the beauty of life and supply your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you, okay? Enjoy the beauty of life. Your supply is unlimited. You know what's so funny? I was just thinking about <laughs> when it said supply is unlimited. I was just thinking of like beauty supplies or beauty products. Maybe some of you work in the beauty industry and you went to go get supplies for your business or for where you work. But 
just something about that coming up. But enjoy the beauty of life, pile number three. Your supply is unlimited and blessings are coming to you, okay? We have here nature and Gaia. Respect the beauty of your body as you respect Mother Earth. Remain connected to nature. You are being protected, okay? And it's like... Hmm, it's much easier to have faith in destiny and faith in the future and all of that and be secure when you feel like spirit has your back and you're being protected and a person is less scared to kind of do things when they have, when they're feeling that grounded kind of sense of like, you know, I, I'm okay. My feet are on the ground. Like nothing's going to hurt me. It's fine, you know? And this kind of grounded nature that this person I feel like is also looking for this, but they're doubtful because they've been told by people before that things are moving in the right direction and it's grounded in reality and all of that. And yet they like are not believing it. Okay. So pile number two or pile number three. Um, that's interesting, but coming at things from a grounded perspective, respect the beauty of your body as you respect Mother Earth, okay? And this person, I feel like, does think that you're beautiful and does think that you're a natural beauty, and I do think that they respect your natural beauty and who you are. I do think, and I think that they see that natural beauty within you, pile number three, okay? And um, they think that you're very, you know, a very special person and very naturally beautiful, okay? And we have here, oh, we've got the three of cups and share the love, all right? So messages of support. Again, I feel like this person wants to pay you a compliment and say, you know, I want nothing more than to share my love with you or to share my compliments with you, to respect you, to remain connected to you. Um, I kind of feel like this person has kept their distance to protect your feelings a little bit, but at the same time, they do want to share love with you or they do want to pay you compliments or they want to let you know um, that you are beautiful and that you know, they do want to reach out a hand to you. I feel pile number three we have here. Oh, I love this. Look at how beautiful that card is. And it says on the back, only time will tell. Yeah, if this person can kind of get over their shakiness and their like, you know, mental uncertainty, if they can get over that, only time will tell, right? Because I feel like you believe in the destiny of things, pile number three, and you do believe that things have a higher purpose and things happen for a reason and all of that. And it's kind of like only time will tell how this person, how this person goes about their own mental healing is what I feel, okay? And we've got the five of cups here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting because the Queen of Pentacles showed up in pile number one. We've got the Hierophant and we've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, pile number three. Here's what I think. I don't, I think you have some, here's the thing. I think you have some really, um, you know, good advice for this person. I think that you, I think that the things that you have to share with them and the spiritual gifts that you have to share with them are very beautiful. Like, you know, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, I think, you know, in a way, it's almost like you've been teaching this person about love or you've been sh wanting to show them how to open their heart again. Or, but the thing is, is with the Hierophant, it is going to take time for them to open their heart again. And I do feel like the best thing for you right now is to put your time and energy into yourself and into your own 
healing, to your spiritual healing, to your emotional healing, to your physical well-being, okay, to your health. Perhaps some of you have been, you know, dealing with some health issues or you've been going through some depression or some grief or some loss and you're just starting to get clarity on that about what that's about and I do feel for some of you guys it does have to do with being alone or being abandoned or being um, forced to carry the weight of things like a lot of heavy emotions for most of your life and having to be the person that bears that burden okay and I think it does get heavy sometimes and there may be times where things in your life feel very serious and very like um like they don't let up like it's just work and work and work but then it's pain and pain and pain and um you know and perhaps there is a part of you that's also afraid of being hurt pile number three and you want a clear answer or clear communication from this person but at the same time, maybe you don't want to hear it either because you don't want to be disappointed or let down either at the same time. Now, here's what I'm going to say, pile number three. I think this person needs some time. I think they need some time to figure out. You know, I do think if they were to lose you or never talk to you again, I do think they would be very sad because you are a quality person and you are very trustworthy as well pile number three you're very trustworthy you're there for people you're there for the people you care about you show up for people you're very solid human being that way very tender-hearted solid human being um, but there may be times where you feel like you're repressing your emotions or you're not allowing your emotions to breathe or heal and I do feel right now for you, pile number three, I do feel right now isn't the time to be reaching out to this person. Now, there are things for you to work through when it comes to like your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health. I also feel like, you know, um, expanding yourself spiritually is important too taking your time with things, going slow, easy does it, okay? And the Ace of Cups for me as a reader is definitely a card of health improving, like physical vitality and health improving. And so that is, but it's emotional health, right? It's mental, it's emotional health, which improves your physical health and gives you your energy back. I also feel like for those of you that are, wanting to go on like a spiritual retreat or go like on a writer's retreat or um, you're wanting to like go back and visit a temple or you're wanting to engage in some study as it relates to spirituality. I feel like spirit is giving you the green light on that a thousand percent, you know, and um, you know, some of you may become very emotional when you get into um, like temples or when you go to like uh, places of worship, there might be like a lot of intense feelings of emotions that come through you, but also making you feel like you wanna cry, but not in a bad way, maybe in a, in a good way, but it also is like a letting go or grieving or a release of emotion that does need to have happened and i do feel like you know the best and safest thing for you right now pile number three is probably self-love self-healing um you know i'm even going to go down the route of you know self sexual activity if i may pile number three i am going to go down that route instead of down the route of um Deeping, deepening an attachment that doesn't feel quite secure yet or quite ready yet, okay? And it's not that there isn't feelings there. There is feelings there, but there is a need to focus on 
the practical side of things and like renewal and emotional healing and emotional health and you know grounded inner stability right we've got nature and gaia perhaps it has to do with you know acceptance body acceptance body image you know all that kind of stuff respect the beauty of your body as you respect mother earth remain connected to nature you are being protected okay and right <clears throat> Right now, it is important for you to kind of be in your cocoon and be in your protection cocoon right now while you rest and replenish is what I feel, okay? And you're not going to get stuck in that place forever. I do see like a lot of heartfelt renewal and a lot of heartfelt connection that is possible. And I'm not saying that that isn't possible here. I think it needs some time. So I would, um, if you're brimming with thoughts and things that you wanna say, I would journal, I would you know, talk to a friend, whatever, but I wouldn't necessarily go and put a bunch of stuff on this person right now. Cause if you are gonna like speak up about things and talk about things, pile number three, I would choose someone else or choose someone that's a little bit safer right now that can hold a space for your feelings is what I'm getting, okay? So it's not that I do feel in time that the situation could play out in a really positive way with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups, but not right now. So my answer is no, not right now. I don't think right now is the time for this person to be getting seriously and deeply involved with someone. I think they've got a lot of, um, you know, thing, they've been hurt, they're shy, they're scared, they need to get through that first. And I do think if you're away from them, they will miss you. And they do wanna tell you that they're thinking of you or let you know that they can't stop looking at the, your pictures and they wanna, you know, express themselves to you. But I wouldn't, um, if you feel like you need to hold back your feelings or hold back what you're saying, I would hold back for now. I think at some point you and this person are going to have an open conversation about your feelings, but um, not right now is what I'm saying. Right now there needs to be um, some space and time, okay? is what I'm getting pile number three. So that is what I am getting for you, my loves. I hope that you found that reading um, to be informative and I wish you all the very best, pile number three. Take care, my friends.